can you find out the relationship between these numbers? Pause to try it out yourself. Let's consider the first number. From this number, let's take the first digit 1 and put it at the end. You get this number. From here, let's take the first digit 4 and put it at the end to get the next number. Now let's take the 2 and move it to the end. We get the next number. 8 to the end. And then 5 is moved to the end to achieve the last number. Now let's see what's special about these numbers. 1, 4, 2, 8, 5, 7 into 1 gives us the first number. Multiplying the same number by 2 will result in this number. Multiply it with 3 to get this one. With 4 to get the next number. With 5 we get this one. And with 6 to get the last number. So the 6 digit number 142857 has its first 6 multiples as the same digits rearranged in a cyclic manner. So this number 142857 is a cyclic number. Let's see what happens when we multiply this number by 7. We get a 6 digit number with all 9's. There's more magic to this number. When you split this number into 2 digit numbers and add them all, you get 99. 3 digit numbers and add them to get 999. 4 digit numbers also can add up to get 9999. 5 digit numbers they also add up to get 99999. Now let's split up this into two numbers 857 and 142. Square them both and find the difference. What you get is again a combination of the same digits. Now let's divide 1 by 7. The decimal value is 0 0.142857142857 and so on. These are some of the magic behind this cyclic number. Let's say we have the numbers 1 to 9 arranged in a circle like this. The digits not present in our number are 3, 6 and 9. Let's join them. Now to represent our cyclic number, let's join the numbers sequentially. 1, 4, 2, 8, 5, 7. Let's join this back to 1. We now have a beautiful pattern. What's more is this 
is not the only cyclic number available. There are more such cyclic numbers. Hope you found this video interesting. If you did, give it a like and share it with your friends. Thanks for watching.